What do you mean it's getting weirder here all the time? I think it's always been this weird, hasn't it? Hello. Ah, for a Canadian boy, it is absolutely scorching outside today. Uh, at least 30 degrees right now, so it's beautiful to be out uh, going down to the water and putting round three of my Streamline RC Thrasher jet boat modded changes uh, for my inner tube rider to the test. And you guys in the last videos, if you didn't see them, check them out in the info bubble. Uh, you might want to see the journey of how I got here already in case you had questions or like suggestions. We may have done them already. Um, but uh, I'm going to put them. Thank you so much uh, for commenting in those videos. It helped me put those into practice here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. Here is the Streamline RC Thrasher jet boat. In the last video, everyone saw I put a clevis in. Then I put in a couple of straight lines for strength up to a Delrin rod. At that time, I had a rope that could go all the way around that ran in between two washers. And you guys said that was probably stopping uh, the rod from being whipped around the boat like on a nice tight turn so I thought about that and I did tighten it up but then I thought mm, if I ran it straight down underneath the uh, GoPro here's a GoPro hero session I bought it refurbished to use two of them uh, just so I could get it onto this boat and have the smaller heroes I've lost them before uh, but here it kind of comes out through the bottom is this pin going to come into play and be a problem possibly we'll see how it goes today uh, but regardless, it still gets it nice and low. So we've got strength, we've got it nice and low. The camera is tied off just in case it pops off to an emergency 100 pound test line. And of course, a jet boat has no uh, propeller on the back. So it's just water that gets sucked up and then thrusted through the back jet and into the propulsion. Here's the back line. And ba bum <laughs> Yeah, I know. It looks super weird for sure. Hey, at least I'm not the only cameraman here today doing all the shots. Uh, you guys asked for, uh, in the last video, to have a camera on the inner tube. Unfortunately, you can see he's sitting in there. To get him down that low, I had to Lieutenant Dan him. Don't worry, he didn't need his legs anyway. We needed him closer down to the bottom so he could be our rider with a good center of gravity and still have his hands on there. Don't worry, he didn't feel a thing. Are you you ready to get down to the pond put the 6s lipo battery to the test and see how this works out i haven't seen how it was going to work out so i'm excited to go and it is blazing hot let's get down there can you see me seeing you it's like a paradox <laughs> So yes, I totally agree. It would be better if my rider had a servo set up for, so he could look left and right, um, which I could easily set up on a dual stick radio. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have a small enough servo that's waterproof that I would trust uh, to have my camera on top of yet, um, but that is in the works. All right, brother, we want a strong performance from you today. Get out there and have some fun. Radio on. Success lipo plugged in. Okay, boys, this is your moment. Let's make some jet boat history. <sighs> First time out. One-handed driving. Oh yeah. <laughs> so far so good it's pulling good I'm only giving it like maybe one quarter throttle let's throttle up a bit yes he's skimming just going easy right now Holy cow, it's working. My dog. <laughs> oh, I ran right into the leaves. <laughs> Distracted driving. Woo! 
Woo! So I brought him in. He's beside my water line, my pump line. I noticed he's kind of like sagging to one side, which would make sense after all that weight and that force. So if I'm able to even him out a little bit more, he may not list so far to one side, but that is absolute incredible performance, mullet and all. All right, so there's only one thing I can think of doing after that successful run on the canal, and that is head to the pond. Let's see if we can get some wakes going or something. What do you think? Is it working out good? Are you having a good day in the field? Looks awesome today. Everyone's waiting for me to do my drone recovery, but there's so much biology in the water now, it's impossible to see. But that doesn't stop me from having fun with my jet boat. The only thing I gotta be careful of is all this algae in here. I don't wanna get that sucked into the intake or else we'll be in trouble. Dead before we get going. Alrighty boys, this is your big moment. Good, good luck to you. you. Have a good swim. Try to clear all those weeds. Okay, boys, let's get you out there. <laughs> it's first time on the pond. Yeah. I can't believe we figured this out. I mean, we as a collective YouTube entity. Couldn't have done this on my own without you. Oh, you got whipped around nicely there. Cameraman. Riding on the outside. Unbelievable. So my driver is 1-6 scale. My boat, not 1-6 scale, but so cool. It is able to power through. Second rip at it. That thrasher just power. Unbelievable. I say that a lot. I love this hobby.
so made it back to shore in one piece. Everything stayed on, including the toupee. What do you mean this isn't my real hair? Uh, <laughs> drop a like click right now if you haven't already and you want to see more of the inner tubing and the Thrasher RC jet boat. Uh, let me know what you think of the cameraman. I know lots of water on the screen today, but that's what you get when you're inner tubing, yeah? Face full of water. Guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and no matter what form it is just have fun with RC bye guys what do you think next time we should try the dam should we try the dam next time I think we should try to pull them up the dam <laughs> we get 5,000 like clicks in a week of posting this video we'll go to the dam and I'll risk losing those cameras that I just got did you have a good time <laughs>